Hi, it's Vashti from Nest Nappies, and today I'm here with Kelly from Struck It. Now, Kelly, I want to bring you in today to have a chat about using the Struck It as a dry pail. One of the things we do get asked quite regularly here is why doesn't it have a lid? Mm. So, lid or no lid? Lid or no lid? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I know from our own personal experience here at Ness that we don't recommend lids for dry pails because we want lots of airflow around them. It so, defeats the purpose of what yeah. a dry pail does. So if we're popping a lid straight over the top, that we're losing that airflow. Yeah, well, I mean, I know here in Brisbane we have that really humid weather and I absolutely, look, I hated having a lid on a bucket when my big kids were in nappies because... That just breeds bacteria. It's warm and moist and humid. And do you think that with the strucket, even when it's up in the up position, having a lid on it would help though? No, I don't think, I still don't think you'd have enough airflow. Yeah. So you've got plenty of um, holes through the bottom with the strainer. And then you've also got the plug at the bottom, which you can release and air still going through. But I really just think, and I think the lid comes from way back when, when our nappy buckets had lids. And it's just something I think that is in our head. Um, yes, nappies can be smelly, but we don't want to hide that smell and then cover it up and ignore it. Mm. We want to deal with the smell. Definitely. <laughs> I think if your nappies are smelling, then you definitely need to look at your wash routine and what's happening in yeah. there because, well, you know, I know with my kids, once they started on solids, that poo stunk. Yeah, <laughs> it is poo after all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't so, smell like roses. <laughs> no. So giving your nappies a quick rinse in the structure. Absolutely. Um, will definitely help with that once so, you've got the poo out. Yeah, if you're using it as a dry pail and you are walking into the laundry and it is a bit on the nose, you can dump your strainer down, fill it up with um, some cool or warm water, give it a zhuzh, which is just agitating and pushing um, your nappies around, and then pull it straight up. Don't leave it sitting down in the water and then release the plug. So while it's sitting in the sink and walk away. You can also have a couple of drops of essential oils in the base, which is lovely, some lavender um, or a beautiful soft orange, um, even a eucalyptus. And then you can just allow that with a little bit of water in the bottom, that beautiful aroma just to be coming up. Oh, that'd be so gorgeous. And it just combats those odors, but stills allow, you know, still allows the nappies to breathe. Okay. Are you bringing in a lid for the Strucket at any stage? We actually are. <laughs> so we do have a lid in the development phase um, and you'll be able to purchase that as an add-on. Um, Probably not recommended with our nappies though, more for other... It's actually things. for other industries, yep. to be honest. It's for the kitchen environment. Love it. Yeah, so looking more... Strucket so in the kitchen. Like hospitality, restaurants oh. and so forth. That's so it's more the cold room environment yeah. where you're able to to yeah rinse and prepare food and then store it but not necessarily for nappies yeah or toilet training or any soaking like that yeah. mm. awesome oh, oh right. that's fantastic yes. okay so little or no lid for nappies definitely a no <laughs> <laughs> awesome well thanks very much for popping by and chatting to us about that kelly it's a pleasure to be here <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you again soon see you guys Bye.